my mic, one year has gone by so quickly. And I know why. It is because you are so present to me. I know that your body is no more, but your spirit is forever with me. I move around the house so comfortably. Sometimes I cannot understand it. But I know that God has given you the responsibility to be my main guardian angel. And I want you to know that you are doing a great job. I have gotten closer to God. I read my Bible every day. I pray more and I pray for you too. I am usually asked with deep concern, Rose, how are you doing? And I always answer, I am doing fine. I am alone physically in the house, but I am not lonely. This is the honest truth, Mike. I sit and eat at meals, but it is as if you are there with me. I remember the conversations we have had, the way you explain things to me. Anything I wanted to know, I ask you. And you always had the answers to my questions. In all what you were to me, you were my spiritual teacher. And this is how I know that God is carrying me through this experience that only he can. You shared so much with me. You wrote so many stories and poems for me. I have enough to see me through. I never thought that I would be saying Michael Orbitini bye, which is Michael Orbitin, rest in peace, so soon. But here we are. And uh, as his one and only daughter, I would like to, on behalf of my family, just say thank you. Thank you to family and friends who have supported, especially my mom, in this time because it really does feel like yesterday and having all three of her children away from her and to know that everyone has reached out whether it be through a prayer whether it be through physically coming and making her feel reassured that she is loved and that she has a support whether it be through, you know, giving her a little lunch. Everybody, you know who you are. Um, she tells us all the time how grateful and blessed she feels. And that makes us, her three children, feel comforted in knowing that you are lifting her up so much. So, as I used to tell Daddy on his bed in his sickness, Simba Simbi, Michael Orbitin. I want to thank you all for holding my mom up in this time. I appreciate all of you. Recognize me as man die, you make me hero with no hope for tomorrow. In a come back as Bob Monday, in I sing a Irish song. I man traveling to Mount Zion. Why don't you come along? Hey, hey. Flowers must all fall before the fruit comes. Say it be incarnation. Flowers must all die before the fruit comes. We now shout with battery. You never listen to I plead. 
As I rise, you put the squeeze on. Send me back me home now. But the stone that you rejected, I voice singing loud and strong. I the headstone off the corner to Africa. We're gone. Oh, night, night, day. Reincarnation. Flowers must all fall before the fruit comes. Saying reincarnation. Flowers must all die before the fruit comes. Hey. Shy fish in the brothers to the land across the sea. Got no bankers to finance me, don't press me in bankruptcy. But this time I tend to shape it. But the message in I saw, say, rise the man, kick up your dreadlocks, we cross now, let's rest on. Flowers must all fall before the fruit comes. Yeah. Say it reincarnation. Flowers must all die before the fruit comes. Flowers must all die. this sharing by reading one of your poems you wrote in 1970. We were not even married yet. After you had written a book of stories and poems, you ended with this one called The End. I finally come to the end of this book in which I hope you'll occasionally take a look, treasure it, oh and love it true because it's written just for you. The stories are yours, correct my flaws. My dearest darling, please do, because if you and I are through, I wrote it specially for you. My love, sweet love, some stories are sad, and some poetries I wrote when I was temporarily mad. But darling, no matter what you do, it is meant for nobody else but you. When I am dead, weighed down with lead, you may grieve about the fact that my soul has spared. My stories, I hope, will comfort you true, as I wrote it, my sweetheart, for only you. You might be married to a handsome white guy. Please don't tell him that your love, for, your love was shy. Don't let him know that you loved me true. But this book, keep it, cherish it. I wrote it for you. Thank you, Mike, for loving me. I will always love you. How can we forget someone who has given us so much to remember. They got no shame, they should be blamed, making bread on the dead. Got no respect, I strongly object. I tell you, them fellas red. You should have hold the second boss, cost the second boss.
boss, the second boss, I say. We should have stole the second boss, mall the second boss, the ball the second boss, he have too much say. 